I met Richard Simmons in 2012 when I was working for a, a promotion for a marketing company in Penn Station, New York. Um, several of us were hired to dress up like 1950s uh, gas pump operators and pretend not to pump gas, but to give out samples of Ocean Spray Cranergy. Uh, it was a drink that Ocean Spray created to capitalize on the popular energy drink craze. Anyway, this uh, company, Ocean Spray, had successfully hired Richard Simmons to be the spokesperson slash brand ambassador slash uh, mascot for the entire nationwide promotion. Basically, Richard Simmons went around the country in malls and gathering places and promoted this, this product. Um, okay, so my experience is um, I get on site and we were told that Richard Simmons was actually coming in person to uh, give out samples with. And not only that, uh, they needed, I think it was somewhere between six and eight volunteers to be part of Richard Simmons' dance routine. <laughs> so I raised my hand instantly, okay? So, so they led however many of us there were between six and eight to, the, to a private back room inside Penn Station where I guess just employees have access to. So we were sitting around at a table, all just sitting there, small room, long corridor. Then all of a sudden the door opens from this long corridor and in walks Richard Simmons. And he has a serious look on his face, very serious. He walks towards us. Of course, he was dressed in the traditional outfit he wears, which was a sequin jumper that looks like he's coming out of the circus and he strides towards us without a smirk on his face, no hint of sarcasm or anything, no guy, it's just a straightforward look. He sits down at the table, he looks around, he puts both of, he puts both of his hands on the table and starts drumming like this. He looks around and drums and drums some more and looks around and we were all getting pretty nervous at the table. And this whole thing went on for what, felt like a very long time, but it might have been as long as 30 seconds. All of a sudden, Richard Simmons, when we were all at our most discomfortable, slams his hand on the table and says, I'm Richard Simmons, you guys. And we all burst out laughing. We were so nervous. And then we had a great time. And he told us we were going to be doing a dance routine with him. And we were going to have fun. He was going, he was going to teach us the routines and, and we were going to do it. And I wish I could remember more of what that meeting was like, but it, it felt like meeting an old friend. He was exactly like you'd seen on TV, just as warm and friendly and excitable as a person you could possibly imagine. So he taught us the dance routine and I, I try my best, but I was uh, one of the worst dancers. Uh, and you can actually see this on a, a YouTube video, which I'm gonna include after this. Uh, yeah, we were, we were doing this number and sashaying and I just couldn't pull it off, but people loved it and there was photographers everywhere. And after that dance routine, Richard Simmons was giving out oh, shots of ocean spray Cranergy to everyone in Penn Station for three straight hours, you guys, three straight hours. That's, and he was not uh, guarded by anyone in particular. He didn't have security running around with him. Richard Simmons was running all over the place, talking to people, giving them samples. And I was right there with him with a tray of cranberry energy juice samples, Cranergy, getting more, coming back to Richard Simmons. He had so much energy, I, it was unbelievable. He hugged people, people cried, they high-fived him. He took a lot of photos. It was about 2000, I said 12, but I think it might've been eight or nine. I can't remember. Anyway, um, selfies weren't quite as popular. Um, yet at the time as they are now, but he even prayed for someone. Uh, they, because people naturally just want to come up to him and tell him all their troubles because um, he just inspired so many people on uh, TV and motivated them. Um, and uh, I'm sorry I'm crying, but uh, it, was, it was a very special three hours of my life. I'd never seen anything like it. Can you imagine any other celebrity doing that? Unrestrained, running around in a public area giving away samples of an energy drink? I, I can't.
can't imagine any other celebrity even attempting this. Oh. He was very special that day. He never ran out of energy. And right before he left, I gave him my agent's card. I had a very old talent agent at the time named Dorothy Palmer. And she said, if I ever meet any celebrities, make sure that I give them her card. So I gave Richard Simmons her card. Dorothy Palmer was her name. Then I go on my merry way. Uh, a couple months later, I was in uh, Times Square because I was doing another job. Then who steps out of a car but Richard Simmons himself. He looks right up at me and says, I called Dorothy. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. I said, you did? He said, yes. I called and said, hi, Dorothy. This is Richard Simmons. Dorothy, being as she was a wizened old woman of 80 years, probably 80 years old at the time, maybe only 75, but seemingly ancient sitting on a couch with stacks and stacks and stacks of black and white headshots surrounding the room. Richard Simmons calls up and he says, hi, this is Richard Simmons. And Dorothy answers the phone and says, are you an actor? Richard's ears and whole body perk up and he says, yes. And she says, great, send me a headshot and a resume. Click. That's it. Dorothy Palmer, my agent, up <laughs> on Richard Simmons. I did see him one more time in person. It was another six months later. I was working another strange job in JFK Airport. I'd just gone through security in order to start my day giving away uh, go-go Wi-Fi passes. When all of a sudden, right behind me at the security checkpoint line, I heard, bins, bins, we need more bins. Richard Simmons was in the security checkpoint line acting like he needed more bins for whatever he was carrying. I, I mean, he, there's no pockets in these outfits he wears, you guys. No pockets. Maybe, did he have a, a bag inside it? I don't know. He must have had a cell phone and IDs, a keys. I don't know, but he didn't seem to be carrying anything. Anyway, as you can imagine, the sight of Richard Simmons at security grabbing bins and making a fuss and screaming, we need more bins. Can you imagine anyone else possibly getting away with that? I can't. Um, thank you, Richard. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done. I'm Joshua Dudley, and this has been uh, my time with Richard Simmons, although I, I did want to add a, a quick uh, postscript uh, of very small sorts. There was, you guys may have been familiar with that podcast, uh, Looking for Richard Simmons. The creator, Dan Taberski, I, I was at a conference and I happened to talk to him one time. And as Dan was about to leave, I told Dan, I, haven't, I didn't get a chance to tell you my Richard Simmons story. It's really good. <laughs> Dan smiles, puts a hand on my shoulder and says, they all are. That's it. Thanks everyone. God bless Richard Simmons. God bless all of you who knew him. He was a very, very special man and There'll never be anyone like him. Thanks. We're gonna dance for you all. It's exciting. Hello, sir. Okay. How are you? This is where my part starts. I'm all the way to the right. You can't really see me here, but as soon as the dancing starts. Okay, there I am. See me all the way to the right? So, thank you, Asian Spray. We love you.